about the way that we have gin is that it's it's moderate and it's medicinal and it's ritual and the ritual around the consumption affects how it lives in your body and speaks in your body and hopefully I'm giving you the space to actually listen to what these plants say in your body so these kinds of events are spaces just to, to hold space for the idea of listening and waiting or just allowing it to come up and realizing oh that's connected it comes as no surprise to me that my gin, my particular gin, I experience it as a spiritual entity, not as a humanoid body, but as a thing in itself. I started to experience it as this, not a body, but something that I didn't quite understand. I'm still trying to understand its contours now by doing these assemblies and by figuring, by the practice of it, I'm learning what a spirit is. I find the idea of braiding very, very, very powerful and very interesting. What I'll be doing is I've, I've braided our different histories and culinary histories and brought them together here. The food that we're offering, everything you're about to eat, everything you're about to drink, are from people's gardens, people's histories. 